Hey guys, this is Mr. Herbst here, and this is Transcription and Translation in Plain English. Now, one of the most important things that we need to make sure that we know is what is the purpose of DNA? Well, the purpose of DNA is to make proteins. Now, our story begins right here with silly Susan the cell. Look how happy she is. You know why she's so happy? Because today she gets to make a protein. So she's going to use her DNA to make a protein. But whoa, watch out. She doesn't actually know how to do that. So let's see if we can help her out a little bit. Well, silly Susan, you know, it's really not all that complicated. It begins right here with process one called transcription, where we're going to make a copy of a section of DNA. So here we have uh, Silly Susan's DNA. She's going to happen to open up that DNA a little bit so we can copy a little section of it, which I uh, highlighted in purple. And so ultimately her DNA is going to close up again. We're going to be left with this copy, although we no longer call this copy DNA. We actually call it RNA, one of the most important things to know in all of biology. You can sort of think of trans transcription like this, where we have a paper, a really important paper with a lot of important words. E equals M C squared, pretty important. Run that through, through a copier, and boom, whoa, we're left with two copies. Only one is a little bit different than the original. The next thing we're going to have to do, Silly Susan, is right here, translation. Where we're going to turn that RNA copy into an amino acid chain. So here we go with uh, uh, Silly Susan's RNA. We're going to bind that to this thing called a ribosome in red, where it's actually going to read it like a book. And you know what else it's going to do? More importantly, it's going to use the words or use the code that's in that RNA and create this little growing amino acid chain right here, otherwise known as a protein protein. You can sort of think of it like this. Where we have bread, we, this would be the RNA. Where we're going to run it through a toaster. It's gonna. This is the uh, this is the ribosome right here. And boom, whoa! We're left with toast, which is a little bit different than our original thing. And so this would be our amino acid chain, which is which is a which is a different thing than what we began with. So ultimately, let's go ahead and sum up what happens. We have DNA, which is going to be transcribed into this thing called RNA, which is going to be translated into this thing called a protein. And that protein can serve many functions in this cell. So, here is Silly Susan. She's really happy because you know what she did today? She created a protein. Let's go ahead and give her a round of applause. This was Transcription and Translation in Plain English. I'm Mr. Herbst, and I'm signing off, folks. You all have a nice day.